Well, if anybody took advantage of that, they would be up $940 right now. That's a gain of 35.47%. Hey guys, I just wanted to make you aware of a few things that are coming up with our option picks. And we know we picked Hershey. Now, Hershey is a three star. It's been moving up a little bit. It's moved up some more this week. It is currently at $197.66, but Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $208.65 in the next 12 months. Now, Hershey has an earnings report coming out on February 8th of 2024, that's Thursday. And for those who aren't aware, an earnings report for businesses is like a report card for children. It can come out and it can be bad. And if it's bad, the stock price is really going to drop. And it can come out and it can be good. And if it's good, the stock price is really going to go up. So it's sort of like being in a casino. You don't know what you're going to get. Just giving fear advance notice for those who are invested in the stock. If you don't have the stomach for that, you may want to get out before that earnings report drops. In any event, Hershey Company I bought it on January 8th. It wasn't moving the way I would have liked it to move. And I sold it on January 11th. I took a $187.33% loss on that. That was a 15.14% loss in three days. However, I should have been more patient. Because I sold it on January 11th, and I owned it all the way until May 17th. So I had more time for it to move up. And if I hadn't sold it then and I would have held on to it, I would be up $323.34 now. That's a 26.14% gain in under a month because it's just... February 2nd now, when I bought it on January 11th. The next one I bought was Invesco um, UUP, Invesco DBUSD, that's UUP. That is basically the U.S. dollar. I saw that it had dropped considerably, and... I knew it was going to move back up. I wanted to make some money on that. So I bought that. I bought 10 call options. It was around $1,050.60. And I sold them. I bought them on January 12th. I sold them on January 18th, six days later. That was a 20.25% gain, $212.76 gain. Now, the reason I sold them is because I didn't like the way that the bid prices were moving in the option. So I felt I should get out of it. I did have a gain, but I didn't feel comfortable with the way the bid prices were moving. So I got out of it early. If I would have held on to it to the day, it would be slightly up. I'd have a $299.40 gain for 28.49%. Or if I could have sold it at the mid price, it would be a $1,019 gain, $19.40 gain. 
for 97.03% in that short time. But that's why you say, I don't like the way the bid and the ask were moving. Look at the diversion between the bid and just the mid. That's a difference of 28% to 97%. So I didn't like it. I got out of it early. Now I'm currently holding Yum China. Now Yum China Holdings, they have an earnings report coming out on the 6th. That is Tuesday. So now it's the weekend. If you want to get out of Yum China, the time to do it is Monday. If you don't have the stomach for sitting through the earnings report, because it may go up, it may go down. In any event, Yum China is a one star. They are, if you guys are familiar with Yum Brands, they are KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. Well, Yum China is the subsidiary that's in China. It is KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and other restaurants, but in China. In any event, they're currently at $35.24 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $59.23 in the next 12 months. I'm feeling risky, so I'm going to hold on to them and go through the earnings report. But for any of you guys who don't have the stomach for it, just letting you know. Now, I'm currently sitting on top of a $143.32, 15 percent unrealized loss with Yum China. But I haven't sold them yet, so I haven't really lost anything yet. That's just on paper. Remember, I had an unrealized loss with Hershey. Then I sold them, and it became a realized loss. If I would have held on to them with Hershey, I'd be up, what, 28% today. So the same thing. I'm down 15.03% with Yum China in unrealized losses. But I'm not selling them. I'm going to hold on to them because I have them for a while. And we'll see what happens in the time to come. So, Humana. Wow, guys. My heart is breaking. I didn't have the money in available in my brokerage account to buy the option on Humana when it dropped because my money is tied up in other things. But I wanted to give you guys the opportunity. So even though I couldn't buy it, I still let you guys know about it. I'm hoping some of you took advantage of it. In any event, Humana is a two-star. They're currently at $378.87 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $421.76 in the next 12 months. When Humana dropped, I told you guys about it in this week's winning stocks. And I also told you about it in this week's option picks. I told you I don't have enough money available in my account to get it, but I'm letting you guys know. An option on Humana expiring on May 17th with a 360 strike price, which is around where they were at that time, would have cost you 2000 $650. Well, if anybody took advantage of that, they would be up $940 right now. That's a gain of 
percent, and that was since January 26, which was about a week ago. It's February 2nd now. So we're talking about from January 26 to February 2nd, a 35.47% return on your money. So for you guys who are interested in options, please keep your eyes peeled on this week's option picks. Also, you want to look at this week's winning stocks because that's where I choose the option pick from. And also, I drop stock analysis in the channel so you can look at that stock deeper. In any event, I need you guys' help with something. I recently met with a YouTube specialist about getting more organic growth on my channel. And they explained to me that I have to narrow down the subjects that I cover if I want to get more organic growth from the YouTube algorithm. The only problem is, guys, I want to offer y'all as much value as I can. I want to help to make you aware of as much subjects in the area of finance as I can. So I don't want to narrow down the topics. I don't want to just cover options or just cover stocks or just cover analysis. So since the YouTube algorithm is not going to work with me, I'm hoping you guys can. And I'm hoping that you can help to share some of these videos, maybe on your platforms, maybe with friends or family, people that you know would need this information. I have exploring the world of options. View this if you want to increase your money. But I give real life screenshots so you guys could see what's possible through selling calls, selling puts, buying calls, buying puts. I do which is better, stocks or options, where I break down the advantages and the disadvantages of each. I do five things you can do if you're 50 or older with no or little retirement, which breaks down a plan for people who are in their upper years, have no retirement saved up, whether they are still able to work or whether they are not able to work. And I have what is a call option? which explains for people who aren't very familiar what exactly a call option is and what is a put option, which explains what exactly a put option is because we know we have puts and calls when it comes to options. So that's it, guys. I would really appreciate if you guys can help to dispense this information, share it with other people. And in any event, you guys have a great weekend, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.